The last rays of summer and British bees forage flowers for their valuable pollen. John is new to beekeeping, but in the last few months his hive has already produced around 20 kilograms of honey. Not bad for someone living in one of the world's largest cities. His bees cover a four-mile radius of built-up South London, happily sampling hedgerows, gardens and wildflowers. I went on a course and I'd always thought that I hadn't really got enough space here to do it. Um, but they were saying you can do it on a balcony, you can, as long as you've got enough room for a hive, you've got enough room to actually keep bees. And growing numbers of urban beekeepers are also good news for the honeybee itself. Numbers in the UK are in sharp decline, down 20% last winter alone. The reason? Experts blame a combination of disease-carrying mites, pesticide use in agriculture and climate change. The risk of starvation is actually quite a real problem. Um, this is because we still have substantially a flora that is a cold northern European flora, whereas in fact the climate is now moving towards a, a southern European climate as we perceive it in England. And longer summers are seeing hives staying active for longer, while the bees' food stocks are not. John's bees, though, are yet to face their first winter. For now, it's time for the taste test. It's got a very minty, eucalyptusy taste to it when it first comes out of the hive. Um, that sort of dies back a bit, but it is probably the best honey I've tasted. And it's hoped the buzz around beekeeping continues long after the sweetness of summer has gone. Lovely.